Alright, so the Azov Atom is out. And the store says the Snurwinter Garage expands once more with the Azov 67096-3N Atom. This heavy class truck features a modern engine, always on differential lock, and all wheel drive capability. This DLC is not included in the year 1, year 2, year 3, or year 4 passes. And it says. The heavy class truck brings superior off-road capabilities thanks to a modern engine, a full suite of features like differential lock and all-wheel drive capabilities. And most importantly, it comes with two unique add-ons fitted exclusively for its unique long frame, a huge three-slot flatbed platform with a unique maintenance module that comes with a repair module and an extra fuel tank. It is available for $399 US dollars. So the truck is listed in the heavy category, and it is... 154,000. It has a power weight of A minus, durability of A, fuel consumption of a B plus, 350 liter fuel capacity. It comes with an off road 50 inch tire as stock, switchable all wheel drive, and always on diff lock. Then for engines, we got the AM814 as the stock engine. You have a 15.3, which gives you an A instead of an A minus. Then you have an A plus with the 16.1, and then there is an IMZ8 17.0T, which this gives it an S, takes down the fuel consumption to a B. This one also brings it down to a B minus. For gearboxes, we have special, fine tune, and advanced special. For suspension, we only have stock. For the tires, it comes with a custom as of 67096 tire. You have ATHS1s in all terrains. Then in off-road you have OHS1s and 2s. If you have JATs you got 1s, 2s, and 3s as well. For mud tires you got the MHS1s and the DMHS1s, 2s, and 3s. And then same thing with the JATs. You have the MHS1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, and sixes and then with chains you got the MHS ones chained. Then we got the stock winch, extended heavy, advanced heavy, and twin motor heavy, so the normal ones for that. We have a front facing and a stock snorkel. Then for frames we have the Azov General Repair and Refuel Unit. This has 2,500 liters of fuel. So actually that puts it up into third place as far as fuel goes, which is really cool. So it's behind the Kenworth and the Paystar 5600TS, which both have a 2800 liter tank. It also comes with four spare wheels and 300 repair points. So if we compare that to the Kenworth 963, the largest fuel tank in the game with the 5600TS, these ones have 2800 liters, but they have no spare parts and no spare wheels. And then if we go to the large maintenance add-on, which there's a few trucks that can have this, this one has 2,000 liters of fuel. We also got six spare wheels and 350 repair points. So that is slightly higher than this truck's. So you got an extra 50 repair points if you have the large maintenance add-on, which only a few trucks can have. And then you got four spare wheels compared to six. Then we have a roof rack which has 150 repair points, 120 fuel. We also have the custom sideboard bed which is the as of 67096 Atom flat body. This can hold three slots of cargo. We also get the LK2NY so not very many trucks can have this. We got the LP4 log loader crane. We can also have a two slot flatbed, three slot flatbed, a medium logging frame, short logging frame, two slot sideboard bed, a small or normal fuel tank, 1800 liters, but we also have the expanded fuel tank, so this is I believe the third truck to get this, which is pretty cool. We also have the fire tank, which is 800 li 1800 liters of water. We have the IM50 loading crane, we have a saddle high, and a saddle low. You can have the crane and a fire tank at the same time or the crane plus the normal fuel tank crane plus two slot sideboard bed 
and you can even have the crane in a three slot flatbed but they don't have a sideboard bed option for three slots so if you want the sideboard um, three slot one you have to go with the custom one which is this one which cannot have the crane uh, but you can also have the two slot flatbed if you want that you can also have a weird combination here with the logging crane and water then for some customization we have the straight cap sun visor and the downward dark downward sun visor we have factory parking lights savior for the front bumper we have roof fog lights roof fender reinforced bar defender external horns twin horns we have stock exhaust and snub heat shielded and then we have the as of adam custom rims with the custom tires for the paints looks like all the normal colors let's see what the custom multicolor paints are so this is the stock or base paint got a orange blue and white along with an orange sort of a teal color in black a yellow dark blue and kind of a light blue or aqua and then we have purple pink and kind of the same light blue color you can also have the log crane and a short logging add-on but when you equip the medium one you can't have the crane anymore one more last thing to note is the truck can have the three slot bed plus a crane plus a trailer so that is kind of a nice combination all right guys that'll be it for this video just a quick little overview of the truck if you want to check it more out later i will be streaming today we'll be testing it out with the deep mud some breakable ice climbing the steep hill in season 10 and some other stuff so go ahead and stop on by if you're interested in checking out the truck a little bit more if you want to kind of uh try before you buy if you will but that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.